guys, my name is Malaji Tepo. I would like Tenfold to help me with a question with analytical geometry questions. It says that in the diagram below, the line joining Q, which is a point at negative 2, negative 3, and P at A and B, and they say that A and B are positive, which makes sense because A and B positive X values, positive Y values makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive x-axis. So that's basically just this line here. If you take the angle between it and the x-axis, you're going to get 45 degrees. It says that QP, which is the line that we're talking about, is 7 root 2 units. So this whole line here is 7 root 2. Okay. It says that N at 7, 1 over here is the midpoint of PR. So it sits right smack in the middle of that line. And M is the midpoint of QR. Okay, so before we even get into the question, that should immediately ring bells for you. Midpoint here, midpoint here, if it's in a triangle, remember the midpoint theorem says that if you join the midpoint of two sides of a triangle, it means that this line is parallel to the third line of the triangle and also half its length. Okay, so very important, midpoint theorem. Okay, so that should immediately ring bells there. If you see midpoint, midpoint, midpoint theorem. Okay, so the first question says, determine the gradient of PQ. So now remember, gradient is equal to change in Y over change in x. Now if we look here, this gradient is going to be constant no matter where we stop this line because it's all one straight line. So if we decided to stop the line right here on the x-axis, this would be the y distance and that would be the x distance. So the change in y over the change in x is the same as saying tan of 45. Do you agree with me? Because in this lovely right angle triangle here, tan of 45 degrees is going to be equal to tan is y over x, which is the same as the gradient. So here, the gradient of PQ is equal to tan of 45 degrees. And if you know your special angles, tan of 45 is 1. So the gradient of PQ is 1. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Next, okay, so what we can say is gradient equals one. And remember this is seven root two units, okay. We can also say that this line is parallel to that line. So the next question says, determine the equation of mn, this line here, in the form y equals mx plus c. Okay, so this is like a really great example of an analytical geometry question because there is so much Euclidean theory in this question, guys. That's Maths is just one big blob of connection. And that's what you guys don't seem to understand, that every single section that you do relates to everything else. So remember, analytical, bring in your Euclidean theorem. So here we've already identified that these two are parallel because of midpoint theorem. So, let's write that down. Mn is parallel to PQ. Remember, you have to give a reason, midpoint theorem. Now, what do we know about parallel lines? We've been asked to find the equation of the line. This M represents the gradient. Remember, we need gradient to find the equation of the line. And we've just found that the gradient of this line is one. Parallel lines have equal gradients. So we can say, therefore, the gradient of Mn is equal to the gradient of PQ because they are parallel lines and therefore the gradient of Mn is equal to one. So now remember, we're trying to find the equation of Mn in this format. So we know that y is equal to just x plus c because that m equals 1. Now, easy peasy, grade 9 straight line work, find a point and substitute it in there. So y value is 1, x value is 7, 
and plus c. So if we solve for c, subtract 7 from both sides, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. So our formula or our gradient of our equation, look at me in my maths, of mn is y is equal to x minus 6. And that makes perfect sense because remember that negative 6 is the x-intercept. If we follow this line, it's going to go down here and intersect somewhere there, and that will be that negative 6. So, perfect. Easy peasy question. Next it says, determine the length of mn. Now, I'm going to remind you that that length there is 7 root 2. And we found that these two lines are parallel because of midpoint theorem. What else did we say about midpoint theorem? Join the midpoints parallel, but that this side, if this side equals x, this line is half of that length because it divides it in proportionate ratios. Okay, so how do we write this out? Mn is equal to half of PQ. Why? Because of midpoint theorem. Okay, and therefore mn is equal to a half of 7 root 2, which is 7 root 2 over 2. There is no simplifying that third expression. Okay, easy peasy. Last question says, determine the coordinates of s such that pqrs in that order is a parallelogram. So we're trying to prove, or we know that or we're given that this is a parallelogram. So what do we know about parallelograms? Well, we could try and find, we're trying to find S here. So we could try and find it using a parallel line there and a parallel line there, but we do not have enough information. We have no coordinates there and no coordinates there. So what we need to remember is, remember your properties of quadrilaterals. Very, very, very important. If we get a parallelogram, remember, very important, that their diagonals bisect each other. So, if we look here, this is a diagonal there, which means that that is definitely going to be a point of intersection of their diagonals, which means that N is the midpoint of QS. Because remember, these two bisect each other. Okay. So, how do we apply that? Well, to find the x value at s, we know that by midpoint theorem, negative 2 plus the x value, x at s divided by 2, is going to give us 7, the x value of the midpoint. Okay? So, if we solve for x of, or the x value at s, we multiply it by 2, so we get negative 2 plus x s is equal to 14, which means that the x value at s is 16. Same thing for the y value. We say that it is equal to negative 3 plus the y value at s divided by 2, and that is going to give us the y value at n, which is 1. So multiplied by 2, we get negative 3 plus y is equal to 2, which means that y is equal to 5. So S sits at 1 and 5. Okay.